going to talk about Project Metal Beast. This is a 1995 film. I found it on Prime. IMDb gives it a 4.7 out of 10. It's 19, takes place in 1974. An American agent in Eastern Europe injects himself with blood of a werewolf and puts his body in suspended animation and brought back 20 years later. And then during the credits, it says Kane Hodder is the Metal Beast. So he's basically the werewolf that, um, not the original werewolf, but there's a werewolf towards the end that he is that werewolf. They uh, like soup up the werewolf per se. I mean, the makeup in this movie is fairly decent, at least for the first werewolf. Honestly, I fell asleep and didn't really get to see Kane's version. This does run slow. It runs absolutely too slow for me. Like I said, it put me to sleep and I really like wanted to like this movie. I saw the preview and I was like, oh, this looks really cool. And then when I played it and I found out that Kane Hodder played the Metal Beast, I'm like, oh, I'm really going to enjoy this movie. But it just ran too slow for me. Just absolutely too slow. I have to give it a 3 out of 10. I did like the, what effects I did see. Of course, they're dated. and But they are practical. At least what I saw. They I might be too old for CGI as well. But I really wanted to like this movie. I really did. And I was really disappointed because it put me to sleep. But... But if you like werewolf movies and you like them to run a little slower, I have to have a little bit more action, a little bit faster pace, or I lose interest, or I'll fall asleep, or something like that. So slower based movies, especially slow burns, I just, I can't deal with, I can't keep my attention to it. So if you like a slower paced movie and you like werewolves, I would say definitely check it out because I'm sure other people will like this movie. But this one was not for me, and I was very disappointed because I really did want to like this movie. I was looking forward to seeing it. I had it on my queue for a while in Prime, and then I didn't know Kane Hodder was in it until I started to play it. And then, lo and behold, it, I think it was about not even halfway through, I just literally fell asleep and just kind of, <coughs> excuse me, sporadically woke up here and there, but... Yeah, I was sadly disappointed by this movie. So, I don't know if you think it's something that you would watch, then definitely check it out. I will never say a movie just absolutely sucks and don't watch it. I always say definitely watch the trailer. If it looks interesting, check it out. But yeah, I was highly disappointed by this movie, but I'll give it a 3 out of 10 because I did like the effects that I did see. It just went way too slow for my attention span. But... Yeah. But anyways, like, subscribe, and all that fun stuff, and have fun watching. Bye.